Hey guys, it's me Crystal from Marching North and today I'm going to show you how to make an interchangeable macrame crystal necklace. To make this necklace I just used some DMC 6 strand embroidery floss and I used the color Ecru. You'll find the full supply list down in the description. Also before I started I, went, I waxed my embroidery floss and to do that all I did was take a beeswax candle and I just ran the, the thread along the side of the candle just to get some wax on it. And this is optional, but it kind of makes the um, string more durable and it makes it a little easier to work with while you're tying your knots. So you could do this, or you could also buy pre-waxed thread if you prefer. If you have a candle and some embroidery floss, that also works. You'll need four pieces of embroidery floss that are 48 inches long each. And to start, you're gonna take one of your pieces of floss, line up the ends and fold it in half. And that way you can find the center and get the center loop side like that and lay it on your desk. And then you're gonna grab your next piece and do the same thing, but you're gonna thread it through the loop of the first piece so that they're linked together like that. And then you're gonna take the third piece. You're gonna put the loop two loops from the first two and line them up so that there's one little hole for the next piece of cord to go through. And then you're just gonna thread the third piece through that double loop there. And now the three pieces are linked and then you're gonna do that one more time. So just line up all three loops together to make one big loop. And you're gonna thread your fourth piece through there. Then you can spread them all back out so everything's kind of nice and neat and you can tell what's going on. And we're gonna tie overhand knots. We're gonna grab the side over here, so just one of your cords, you're gonna grab both ends of it. And you're gonna tie an overhand knot about a half inch away from the center. So you just make a loop and you bring the end through the loop and then tighten it up down where you want the knot to be. And I did mine about a half inch away from the center, but you can do yours um, further away or closer, it's up to you. So there's my first knot. So now I'm gonna repeat that on the other side, doing the exact same thing with the other two ends of this cord on the left. And the most important thing is just to get your knots even with the knot you previously tied. So you want them all in about the same spot so that it's not crooked. So just take your time and tighten it a little until you get it right where you want it. And that way, if you don't pull it too tight at first, you can always adjust it pretty easily. All right, so there's our first two knots on the left and the right. And now we're gonna do the same thing with the other two cords at the same distance away. All right, here's our four first knots. So now we're gonna do the next row. So you're gonna take the left cord of one and the right cord of the other, hold them together, and you're gonna tie an overhand knot about a half inch away from the first row of knots in between the two. So you'll be taking these two cords and tying a knot. And like I said, mine's about a half inch away. You might wanna make yours further away depending on how large their crystal is gonna be but this is a pretty good distance and it worked well for the size crystals that I had. All right, there's our first knot. Now we're gonna repeat that on all the other sides. So we'll have one right here with these two cords, one here with these two cords, and one here with these two cords, and they'll all be the same distance away. Here's how it looks now. I tied the other three knots. So now we have four knots that are by half inch away and see it's starting to form a little um, pouch. So now we're going to do the same thing again. You're going to take the next, take the two cords that are next to each other from the row of knots before that and tie another knot about the same distance away. And here we are with the next row done. You see it's starting to make this little pouch. So now I'm gonna do a little test fit. I recommend test fitting just to make sure everything's looking good and that way you can adjust if need be. 
And now we're going to tie another row of knots and um, I decided to make this one slightly further away than the previous rows, but it's pretty close to about the same, um, just a little bit further out. So this is really customizable. It's as long as you test fit your crystals several times, you can get a really good fit. Here we go. And I'm just going to do the same thing all the way around. And you see now our pouch is about an inch, a little more than an inch and a half long. So I want it to be two inches long at least. So I'm going to do one more row of alternating overhand knots. And here we are. Now our pouch is a little over two inches long. Here's how it looks with my crystal inside. So this is about how big the crystals I'll be interchanging are. Here's another one. It's a little bit smaller and different shape. I just wanted to show you how you can put different crystals in here. And if you just make sure that it accommodates your largest one, you should be good. So now what we're going to do is divide the strands into two sections. So you're going to take half on one side and half on the other side. And we're going to tie one overhand knot with all the cords on one side. So just make that loop and bring the ends through. And we're gonna tighten it up about a half inch away from that last row of knots, I'd say. That looks good. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side and just make sure that you make this knot at the same um, spot as you did on the other side so that everything's nice and even. and here's how it looks once I get both knots done. So now we're going to add a bead. So I have this wooden bead and a large eye needle. Take one of your sides, line up the ends of the cords, thread them through your needle. And then you're going to just thread that through the bead. And then you're going to do the same thing with the other cords. So thread them on and thread them through the bead and then get everything straightened out. And you're just going to slide your bead down by where the crystal pouch is. And this is going to hold your crystal in place. So it'll kind of slide down over those two last knots you tied and kind of holds it in place a little bit. And you can slide it up and then you can take your crystal out. So now we're going to slide this down and we're going to tape or I'm taping mine down to my desk. So just secure it either with the clipboard or tape it down to your workspace. And I'm just taking the cords on each side and braiding them. So because there's four cords, I'm using holding two cords together for one of the sections and then just braiding with the others. So it's just a three strand braid and I'm just holding two of the cords together for one of the braid sections. But just do that until you get to the end of your cord. But this is how it looks at this point. So I'm going to tie an overhand knot to finish off the braid right at the base of the braid. And you see, I still have a little bit of cord left over here to tie our sides of our necklace together. Repeat that whole process with the other side of your necklace. And now I'm just going to tie an overhand knot with both to tie them together. And I'm just going to make that knot go just past the overhand knots that I tied to finish the braided sections. And then you're just going to cut off the excess and your necklace is finished. So you just slide the bead up, grab one of your crystals, and just open it up and you can slide it right down in the little pouch. just like that and then you slide your bead back down in place and it'll hold your crystal in place. You can wear it and not worry about it falling out. And you just kind of pull on it. You might have to give it a little tug to get it really set down in there. But here's how it looks. And you see it's super easy to change out your crystal. You just pull the bead up, pull the crystal out, stick in another one and you're good to go. You can make this larger if you have larger crystals. You can add a few more rows or if you want to put a smaller crystal in, you could do less rows. You can really customize it to however you want it to be. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please leave a like, 
comment, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching.